Tonight, we continue our partnership with the National Committee for Families and Children in observance of International Day of Children's broadcasting with another report from a young person. Sarah McGahey is an 18-year-old student at SJC Sixth Form, and we wanted her to find out about text messaging amongst her peers. It may sound mundane, but increasingly, text messaging is becoming a central part of our daily discourse. The Prime Minister and the Leader of the Opposition do it. Your children do it, and by now, your parents probably do as well. On last night's news, you saw John Brackett protest against the dreadful habit of texting and driving. And all across Belize tonight, exasperated parents will be telling children, aren't you tired of texting? Well, the truth is, they aren't. Sarah Magahi went to school to teach us how much texting dominates the daily diet of the average young person. Texting is a major fixation for my generation, but how bad is it? I came to school to find out. How much text do you send per day? Hmm. No less than a hundred. About, about 30 so. Per day I usually answer like, I don't know, 150. Not a good question. Um, I say, go ask my Chinaman, the local Chinaman, that question, but like about, I uh, said about, what is that, 200? Uh, per day, maybe 100. About 50? 100 and more. <laughs> <laughs> maybe 50. Less than 50. Mm. A lot. Um, I don't know, like 50, or like a, no, not, not to leave it. I think like 200 per day, something like that. I would have to say maybe three times an hour, a lot. Every time a text comes in, I text back. Like over 100. Um, about 350. How often do you text? Every day. Well, usually I text throughout the whole day, but spaced out, no? Every minute. And every second, every minute, basically. I text like it's a daily thing. It's part of my living, like breathing. Every day. Every day. Every day. Not very often. Like every minute. Like. All the time. Whenever I feel like it. Every like two, three, four seconds. Is there a down time for texting? Like when you don't text or when you don't get text messages? Mm, I guess right after I get home when I start doing my homework. When nobody texts me? <laughs> no, not really. Yeah, when I sleep. Mm, maybe when I have a test in class. Hmm. No. Only when I'm busy doing chores. <laughs> when I'm doing my homework. When I'm sleeping. Um, when I'm not eating, sleeping, or taking a shower. Yeah, when I do my homework, sometimes. No. Uh, during lunch, when I'm eating, um, when I am sleeping, of course. <laughs> Judging by those answers, you can see that texting is to be very important in the life of many young people. Some admit to being quite dependent on texting, while others are in denial. Um, do you consider yourself text dependent? Not necessarily, no. No, not really. I like, prefer one-on-one -on -one conversations more than text. Not really. No, actually, Facebook works as well. Um, no, but I think my activities would show otherwise. <laughs> Probably, yeah. Mm, not, 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 um... How you gonna say? Um, not really. <laughs> yes, I think especially in today's world, everyone depends on their text messages. Yes, yes, I could. Not exactly, but most. Uh, yeah, yeah. So, so yeah. Um, yes, I am. Yes, I'm text dependent. Lately, yes. For International Children's Day of Broadcasting and Channel Seven, I am Sarah Magahi. Good job, Sir Magahi.